In a world where more bullets hit the ground than raindrops and a mother's cries are not enough to stop her innocent boy from being shot, they tell me that by now our son should be wearing guns around their waist instead of belts simply to protect themselves. And maybe it's the fact that our school bags are getting lighter because books being replaced with lighters for students to light a piece of grass and be merry but something about all these lighters making my heart more heavy cause in a world where success is not defined by passing an exam but by puff puff passing grams of grinded grass for students to graduate at the highest degree they still tell me that our youths need not God's mercy when the spiritual chains of technology gripping tighter than those from African slavery. Imagine the average teen punches in over 2,000 keys a day while locked up behind Wi-Fi bars but not once takes charge and hits escape. It's because the weight of peer pressure forces their fingers into submission. They no longer have permission to escape such mind control and we all know mind control starts at the top. I guess that's why we use the caps lock so much and it's so much so that our youths don't even know the difference difference between Cain and Abel and they're still unable to tell me how the Tower of Babel could never get into the heavens. But they could tell me about Jordans, but they don't know that the day they choose Jordans over Jesus is the day they place him under their feet and every step they take is one step closer to the heat, weeping and gnashing of teeth when golden streets await those who simply believe. So tell me, why must our country take burns if he was already bruised for our iniquities and why must we be chastised into pieces when the chastisement of our peace is already upon him? Maybe our country just needs to read up on him and we'll see that even though our sins are tall like wild bush on land, God's mercy is the waka for the waka man, the way he makes a way where there seems to be no way so it doesn't matter if you're locked up behind Wi-Fi bars because his mercy will allow you to take charge and be mobile out of every digi cell so you could be for Jesus, the ultimate connection, divine intervention needed because our country is being horribly mistreated by our own and it's only when we can look Look to him instead of sin that we can begin to make our country smile again. Thanks.